The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he, he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back it full. Moved with compassion, the master of the servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him and demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servant saw that what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master, reported the whole affair. His master summed him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. He who knows how to forgive prepares for himself many graces from God. As often as I look upon the cross, so often will I forgive with all my heart says Saint Austina. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's Gospel reading, Peter approached Jesus and asked two questions. Look like one question, but there are two questions. He asked, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? Again, the second question, as many as seven times? So, he also trying to, with the second question giving answer, is it okay to forgive seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but 77 times. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is a question that many times we also struggle with it and also many times we deal with the forgiveness and unforgiveness because being human beings and limited with our strength and power many times we go through some of the struggles when people hurt us and put us down judge us criticize us and mistreat us so many ways there are many painful experiences and brokenness happens and that, that also lead you anger revenge and pain a lot of brokenness happens and it, it we hold a lot of unforgiveness within our soul and we are holding unforgiveness and it is sometimes between the family it happens parents and children even it happens husband and wife and it is also happens between the friends or with community we go through a painful brokenness experience because of the words because of the actions of our fellow brethren those things also lead us so anger and also revenge and sometimes anger too extreme it goes to kill somebody and anger uh, we see some of the criminal things happen because of the anger they go and shoot and kill the people so it is internally uh, suffering also internally we go through it happens within the heart though it starts in the brain in the mind it goes to the heart and there will be a suffering and brokenness and it's not a good thing and again we are controlled by our past means when you remember when you see those people when you relive your past and you try to hurt yourself so this is something it's not only for peter or apostles it is a story of every human being you like it or not or you believe it or not you accept it or not and we go through dear brothers and sisters sometimes even mother when she go went through some things it affects the child and the womb of the child and it is a deep hurt because of the feelings happen and it is also lead uh, unforgiveness in subconscious level or sometimes it is unconscious level and sometimes we don't realize why we behave like that why we speak like that why until you see in the light of the gospel until you see through the power of the holy spirit until you see through the wisdom of god we don't understand and we are go with that and why these things i don't want to do i don't want to suffer i don't want to be like that but why i'm suffering why it is so painful for me all the things we go with that dear brothers and sisters so controlled by the past and even those things will lead you some kind of sicknesses so when you don't forgive or hold a grudge a painful things within your heart and it is also lead to the sickness sometimes it happened so remember in the gospel when some friends brought a paralytic man and was not able to they were not able to bring him into the house and they also lowered him exactly where Jesus was in the house and looking at the faith of the friends who brought 
what Jesus said to the paralytic. The first thing he said, your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. After that he said, get up and walk. And he did that. The healing happened. Even in the charismatic uh, retreats, so our healing retreats, always we talk about the sin, always we talk about forgiveness. If anything that you hold in the past or present and should be forgiven, and people forgive and also understand how dangerous it is in the spiritual life how dangerous it is in the lives, then realization brings them closer to God. And the realization brings them closer to God when they forgive, so immediately they also receive the healings. It happened many times. I have seen with my own eyes people receiving healings after they forgive their enemies enemies and after they forgive. Sometimes it is also we forgive others but we cannot forgive ourselves because some kind of decisions we take and the behavior that are the words we speak and we also hold within ourselves why did I do that? So unforgiveness towards you that is also danger because we don't enjoy the life. We are not peaceful in our life. We also have that pain, longing many years, not only one year, two years, and it will come to you 20, 30, 40. It goes with you. So God is generous. God is kind, God is compassionate, and whenever we are going to God, God forgives us. That is a beautiful thing. If God counts our sins, no one is worthy. No one is worthy to be in his presence. But he is so generous, so kind, because God knows we need the forgiveness. It happens because of his compassionate love. It's a great love for us. So dear brothers and sisters, today the question Peter asked, how many times I have to forgive? And is it okay seven times? And forgiveness is not easy for two reasons. Number one, forgiveness is not natural. It is not natural. Oh, for example, we see the movies or some stories. Always they have the movies like if somebody does something and the hero goes and uh, take revenge. And then that's a society says that is a great thing. He did great thing because so he uh, punish them. So it is not natural. Forgiveness is not natural. And again, forgiveness goes against our sense of justice. Sense of justice, it goes like that. But here, the literal meaning of forgiveness, let go or send away. Let go or send away. And today, when Peter asked, there is a reason for that. Seven, is it okay seven times? Because according to uh, Jewish culture, the seven is a perfection, biblically perfected number, perfection. So, and also book of Amos chapter 1 verse 3, three times we can forgive. So, what uh, Peter thought is a big stuff that he is talking to and get the appreciation from Jesus Christ. That is why he said, it okay seven times, means three plus three plus one. Means I am so generous to forgive. Okay, so then what Jesus said, what Jesus said, 
it is not seven times 77 times what does it mean is it one day seven times or 70 or seven times or how many times so some scholars they say unlimitedly unlimitedly whatever it may be with the theory or math or whatever it may be what i understand god want, wants you that you have to enjoy your peace enjoy your life that is why when you ask god Forgive my trespasses as I forgive the trespasses. Means it is also depending on you. Uh, when you are asking God, you have to forgive your neighbors. As I did, forgive me. And this is something brings us peace and joy and happiness uh, among the community, even in the family. And with the small regions or big regions, whatever it may be, so husband and wife, so they go through the struggle, the struggle always with anger, and the anger lead them painful experience. It is not good for both of them, but still they go through because they hold unforgiveness within their hearts. It happens in the heart, in the heart. So that is why. So listening to God, forgive 77 times and forgiving brings a true joy and happiness, dear brothers and sisters. And today, after Jesus explained to them, he also said, kingdom of heaven like this. Then he explained about the parable of unforgiving servant. It is only mentioned and written in the Matthew's Gospel. Other Gospels, we don't see this parable, only in Matthew's Gospel. Do you know the, what is the reason? And I don't know why John or Luke or Mark, but I know why Matthew wrote. The reason is Matthew is the tax collector. So he always thinks about the counting money and everything. And Jesus called Matthew. He left everything and followed Jesus. So he remembers more things about the money. That is why I think uh, Matthew wrote in his gospel this parable. Only Matthew's gospel, this uh, parable written. And what exactly uh, Jesus wanted to tell us, a king here is a uh, God. And he called his servant because so uh, there is a servant who owed many thousand talents it is not written here but in some of the places it is also mentioned about that means a huge amount of money even he could not even able to repay that was the situation and when he was demanded and asked what he said he paid homage he fell down at his feet and uh, asking be patient with me be patient with me have patient with me he begged and when he begged the master our king he moved with compassion so that brought him everything just relieved everything so you don't need to pay anything Remember, you have to pay a lot of money. Somebody say, you don't need to pay anything. That really releases us completely. So the huge amount was forgiven because of the master. His compassion, he was moved with compassion. His heart was moved with compassion. That is why he forgave everything. A huge amount. Even he works 15 uh, years or 20 years. He could not even able to pay that much. That much was completely removed. So he would have been grateful for that. Again, what happened, this same servant went to the other servant who owed for him 100 denarius, means very less, very less. 
But he also asked him, give my money. And what happened? He also begged him the same thing. Have patience with me. I will pay. But he was not patient with him. Because of his heartlessness and forgiving, um, uh, forgetting everything what happened to him. And he was so wicked and so um, evil. So he put him in the jail, in the prison. And again, he collected everything. That is a cruel thing. And Jesus explaining, and this same servant, so received forgiveness, received everything removed, all the debt he has, now with a small. So here God is a king, and he forgives each one of us so many things. Not, there is unlimited things are forgiven. When you deal with your, uh, your wife or your husband, your children or your friends, when you have something that we uh, always think about that and hold that, that really uh, hurt you uh, so much, and not releasing that. And instead of that, you are forgiven by God everything, but we are not willing to forgive with our fellow brother, dear brothers and sisters. Jesus explained, and at the end, Jesus also said, So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. He didn't say from your mind. He said that from your heart means it hurts your heart, not mind or not any other parts. It's that's why you have to forgive from your heart. The beautiful thing. So forgiveness is a sign of Christian maturity. And also, oh, if, if you, the second reading gives us a beautiful thing. Because when you are going with these experiences, I want to explain to you the second reading. So... St. Paul, in his letter to Romans, he explained to us, none of us live for ourselves, uh, no one dies for oneself, but if you live, we live for the Lord. If you die, we die for the Lord. We belong to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise so if you realize you belong to God, and we live or we die, for the Lord, that really help you to forgive other people. We are loved by God. We are cared by God. We are forgiven by God. And also we deserve peace. We also deserve love. We don't need to go with, we have only one life. Is there anybody here who have four or five lives? One life. So when you realize that you belong to God, you live for God, you die for God. So whatever God wants you, you do because it's ultimately doing the will of God is important thing. Being faithful to God, being pleasing to God, and doing uh, will of God is an important thing. That's why we always remember we belong to God, we live or we die. So that really changes or transforms your life. And finally, some of the great people who talked about the forgiveness, Nelson Mandela, he says that forgiveness liberates the soul. It removes fear. That is why it is such a powerful weapon. And again, Mother Teresa says, if you really want to love, we must learn how to forgive. There is no love without forgiveness. There is no forgiveness without love. Once a disciple asked a monk, what is forgiveness? The monks replied, forgiveness is the pleasant smell a flower gives when it is being crushed. Yes, dear brothers and sisters. And Mahatma Gandhi, he said that weak never forgive 
but forgiveness is attribution of the strong. And finally, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, St. Paul says, So be kind, compassionate, forgiving one another, as God has forgiven you in Christ. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.